What sets apart bubble tea from most other beverages? Toppings. Yes, those little things at the bottom of your drink. In this video, I'm gonna give you a rundown of the toppings you can add to the bottom of your drink. From pearls to pudding, sago or jelly, here's all you need to know about putting some chew in your brew. <laughs> Hi team, my name's David and welcome back to Coco Fresh Tea and Juice in Hobart for another tea talk. In this video, we're going to explore the toppings you can add to your drink. Let's start with our most popular. You might've heard of it, you might've seen it, you might've enjoyed it before. Let's welcome Pearls. Made from tapioca, these delicate and chewy round delights are cooked in our shop fresh every three hours. This is to ensure the freshest pearl experience possible. Fun fact, it takes approximately one and a half hours to properly cook pearls for the best results. You know when you have a good pearl, when it's not too soft and not too chewy. Pearls go with practically any of our drinks. We also offer what I feel is the most amazing brown sugar pearl experience. Now, what's the difference you ask between our regular pearl and our brown sugar pearl? Our regular pearls have added raw sugar during the resting process, where our brown sugar pearls use our signature brown sugar that makes for an amazing, gooey, yummy experience. The brown sugar gives a wonderful caramel-like flavor. Staying in the tapioca family, next we move on to sago. Similar to pearls, but smaller, transparent, and slightly sweeter. Do you like custard? Then you'll love our next one. Welcome, pudding. The best way to describe our pudding is like a firm set custard. Next we have our jellies, coconut and lychee flavored. Think of them as small rectangle fruit size flavored gummy bears in your drink. Have you heard of grass jelly? Well, it's slightly different to the jellies I just spoke about. Set in a big bowl and scooped out with a spoon, you'll probably know this type of jelly from your childhood fridge. Well, slightly different to other jellies, it's a herbal jelly derived from a plant in the mint family with a mild herbal taste. Our next topping is aloe vera. Yes, you can have all the benefits of aloe vera in your drink. For an everyday option, why not try aloe vera with the no sugar green tea? Enjoying the video so far? Let me know with a thumbs up and remember to hit the subscribe button. How about salted whipped cream? Sound tasty? You like where this is going? Then you need to add some cloud. This is best with our milk teas or fresh tea drinks. Now moving on to fresh taro. We simply mash taro up to a consistency that you can drink through a straw and put it into your drink. While it might not sound too appetizing, it's a great addition to most milk teas. Now on to red beans. No, not the one you're going to find in a chili, but a sweet soft bean that is perfect in matcha. Now, I know some of you might be a little bit perplexed by some of the toppings I've discussed. Comment below. Which toppings would you like us to include in reaction video? Would you like to see taro? Would you like to see red bean? Would you like to see jellies? Let us know. This is where we'll take random people and ask them huh? to describe what? what different things smell and taste like. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, stay brutal.